Zoner here again with the lovely Carrie Keegan. How many times have you done this already today? Six or eight, maybe. Okay. I don't know. All right, so it's still new. It's fresh. Hi, everybody. <laughs> so you are here promoting Dead 7. Dead 7. A sci-fi show starring a whole bunch of... All the 90s boy bands you could yes. ever fall in love with again. Did you fall in love with them again? Again. Nick Carter, Joey Fatone, AJ McLean, Eric Estrada from O-Town, Howie Doro from, I mean, every, the, the list is huge, you guys. Like, everyone you ever had on your wall is in Dead 7. I'm going to say they weren't on my wall. <laughs> yes, they were. You just don't want to admit that uh, on TV. Yeah, that's probably true. <laughs> that's probably true. Either that or I'm just too old. Um, so, tell us a little you bit You had of, Sebastian Bach on your wall, didn't you? Lita gun, Ford, maybe? Gun, oh, Lita Ford? Yeah. Yeah. I, I'm from the, the only reason why he's at my booth right now. <laughs> <laughs> now, tell us a little bit about Dead 7. Your part in it, how it came to be with you. Uh, we just talked to Nick Carter yeah. about it a little bit, so we know his perspective. Tell us your perspective. Um, well, it's a zombie western. I play Daisy Jane. I... Um, I'm sort of the love interest that was scorned by Nick's character. He left me, kind of like Legends of the Fall. Do you guys remember that? When Brad Pitt just yeah. went off and who, did his own Who thing. would leave you, though? <gasps> Him, that guy over there. <laughs> Bastard. Um, and then I sort of hook up with his little brother, Billy, who's played by Jeff Timmons from 98 Degrees. So I guess I'm the luckiest girl in the world. It sounds like yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, pretty much. And then we fight zombies, and I get bloody, and um, we kill lots of zombies, and, you know, hopefully we win the day. Now, zombie westerns, there's not a lot of those. No, there are not. Was that a fun role to jump into, a fun part to play? Um, pretty much it was the reason why I wanted to do it. I'm a huge horror fan. Okay. So for me, it was like, yeah, it's oh, it's a zombie western? Yes. Thank you, Nick. Nice. Now, you are multi-talented. You've hosted. You've you. done other Have stuff. Have you seen my work? <laughs> I, I, a little bit. Power Girl, we are familiar with. Yes, Power Girl. And The talent is um, obvious. <laughs> but you also write. Tell us a little bit about your book. Oh, so, okay, I have a book coming out September 20th. It's called Everybody Curses, I Swear. And it's a little behind-the-scenes look at my life in this uncensored world of interviewing. I do this for a living as well. But all my interviews are with celebrities, and it's very uncensored. Uh, uh, so are you saying you're not a celebrity? Because I'm sitting here looking at you thinking, this is a celebrity if I've ever seen one. Oh, thanks. Well, I don't think about it that way. <laughs> this, is, this is my first time at Comic-Con actually being one of these people I'm usually with you or like one of these people standing in line trying to get an autograph and I love I've, this is I think my ninth year my ninth comic-con um, and so this time I get to go behind behind the curtain what's that like for you is it weird it's cool as I was walking behind my booth like Jillian Anderson LeVar Burton like I'm looking at all the like oh my god I get to sneak into all their booths and say hi it's so cool I get to do that now I can sneak in is that a little overwhelming? Do you get starstruck a little bit? I don't get starstruck anymore, but I still get super excited. So, I mean, I was on the plane with LeVar Burton and Dean Cain. I didn't say hi. So I guess I was a little, st like, I, I should have done it. I didn't do it. I was behind them in line at the airport. They were ordering burritos. I should have just gone up and been like, Star Trek's pretty much the greatest thing ever invented, but I didn't. And even the guy that handed LeVar his burrito was like, reading Rainbow. <laughs> and I, I mean, I know him from Star Trek. I'm not a reading Rainbow. I, I know, but it's Jordy. Yeah, now my fear is, I don't know if you saw him on Community when Troy kind of freaks out. Every time that I meet somebody, I'm afraid that that's going to be me. I turn into Chris Farley every single time. Oh my God, so do you, do you remember that movie that you did, that time with that, th remember when you did, oh my God, that was so awesome. Yeah, that was pretty cool. Yeah, I do that. <laughs> <laughs> I totally understand. And that's for me what Comic-Con is all about, and that's why Comic-Con is amazing, is because everybody gets to be that person and no one's judgy about it. At least not out loud. <laughs> <laughs> oh, great. So as I'm walking away, they're all like, what an idiot. What is she freaking out? I just kind of assume every time I talk to somebody, as I'm walking away, they're like, Damn, that guy's a moron. What is he? No, because I swear to you, as soon as you leave, the next guy up does the exact same thing. <laughs>
Well, that's good to know. Yeah. That's good to know. Now, you said you've done a lot of interviews, obviously. Yeah. Any that really jump out at you? Any that you... This one. This. Oh, I feel <laughs> honored. This is awesome. I love this one, too. Um, yeah. I mean, anytime you, I sit down with comedians, those are always my favorite. Um, Robin Williams, Russell Brand, um, Judd Apatow. I mean, like Adam Sandler, all those guys. Melissa McCarthy, actually, there, there's a lot. I have a lot of favorites, but those, those are, comedians are like the ones that I can really play along with and, and I enjoy those the most. I was actually, speaking of comedians, I was doing an interview with uh, Marcus, who was on Last Comic Standing. And we were in the green room, he was getting, he was in between sets, getting ready to go on for his second set. And he started changing his clothes right in front of me during the interview. You can hear zippers and everything. What it does was, comedian ass look like? Uh, very strong. <laughs> <laughs> You're supposed to say it looked funny. He, uh, <laughs> I guess I don't think that quick on my feet. That's why I'm not a comedian. But yeah, a dude was ripped. Wow, I was very impressed. <laughs> really? Did, were you intimidated a little bit then? A little bit. A so little bit. did you find him a little extra sexy when you saw him up on stage then? Um, my wife did. She's like, wow, mm. big muscles. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. yeah. Well, we will... You have a man crush now. I can see it. <laughs> <laughs> it happens. Actually, Nathan Fillion, yeah. man oh, crush there. Totally. That's the man crush. Yeah. Agreed. So, but thank you very much thank for you. visiting with us. Really nice to see you. Be sure to check out Dead 7. Uh, hey, April 1st, and also, book comes out September... September 20th. Go Everybody check... Everybody curses, I swear. Go check that shit out. Yes, do it, and do it properly. That's right. Don't steal it. <laughs>